Okay, so problem 27 is one that's fairly straightforward. I want to just cover, I'm counting on you to actually look at the figure in the book, which is basically volume, right? Volume versus pressure. And you go through a cycle. This is the lungs breathing in and out. And you go through a cycle breathing in and out. And as you go through that cycle, you follow this path, right? And the question is, what what does this area inside here represent? Okay, so how do we reason that out? First, oxygen removed. Um, there's nothing in this that would indicate anything about oxygen being removed. Uh, if you want to look at lung volume change, well, this axis, the vertical axis, represents lung volume change, but not this area. If you want to look at air pressure change, the horizontal axis represents air pressure change, but again, not the area inside of here. If you want to talk about the area inside of there, what is the area inside of there? Well, the area inside of there has to do with pressure times volume, right? Pressure times volume. Um, so what is pressure? Pressure is force per unit area, right? And volume is, I'm just going to write it as a length times area, right? So if we do pressure times volume, we're going to end up with force times length equals work. So the area inside that circle represents the work done in going around the cycle. That's it for that problem.